Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm teaching you a really nice impromptu oil and water that's also a combination of out of this world. There's two phases. One is an impossible separation, and the second phase is where the spectator decides which card goes where, and then they're separated. Anyway, I'll stop talking and get right into it. All right, so this uses the aces, and it also uses the kings. All right, so four aces, four kings. We don't need the rest of the deck. Here's what I'll do. I'm trying to separate the kings and the aces by uh, a little bit of magic, all right? So what we do is we mix them first, right? We got an ace and a king. We have, you can really see them, an ace and a king, an ace and a king. You can really see them, an ace and a king. Now watch, all we do is we take one card out, maybe the uh, the ace there. Watch, all I do is wave the packet over the ace like this, and give it a tap, and you can see that the aces have separated from the kings, just like just like that. I'll do it one more time. Uh, this way, um, we'll do it face up. An ace and a king, an ace and a king, an ace and a king, an ace and a king. There's no denying that they are actually mixed, but uh, the thing is we know that they're mixed. We know it's ace, king, ace, king, right? But let's say we mixed them so that we don't know uh, the order of them. So maybe that one right there, maybe that one there, maybe uh, this one here, maybe that one there, I don't know. But let's say you decided where they went. So all I do, is, let's say we have a spectator right here and uh, they can decide. So for instance, we can do the car straight down or we can mix them first like this is all up to them. All right, so let's say they did deal, uh, mix, deal. Uh, that was face up, don't worry about that. Uh, maybe mix, maybe another mix. Now watch, all we do again is we take a card from the middle, maybe the uh, the ace there, watch this time. Let's do it a little bit different. Let's just wave it over like a magic wand, just like this and you can see that they've separated again. There's an ace, 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 ace. There's a king, 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 and a king. All right, so this just really uses uh, four aces and four kings, no more and no less, right? The deck is placed aside. Now, what you're gonna do is a little secret move. It's not really even a, uh, it's like it's just a switch of a card in the middle. So what you do is, it's gonna look like you just place the kings and the aces down like that, but what really happens is that you switch the two middle cards, the king and the ace, like this. So what happens is you sort of close the spread up like this so they are on top of each other, or the king is on top of the ace, rather. And then you just pin your thumb down on that king, place your fingers on the back of that ace like this, and just switch them like this is exposed view. Just like that, that's what's happening. So again, you wanna do that to where they can't see them, obviously. So you're up like this, showing the aces and the kings. Now what you're gonna do, see, we'll try to separate them. And now at this point, you sort of close up, turn your hands towards yourself and just do that move like this, but at full speed, you just completely invisible, so you're like this, and then just like that. So actually what you have here is two packets. You have an ace on top of the kings, and you have a king on the bottom of the aces. So what you're gonna do is say that you'll just mix them. So we have an ace here, a king there. Now you can't show these because they're both aces, but you just must call them, all right? So you just do ace, king, and at this point, you can see, look, you can really see them because this is the beauty of this uh, routine. You can actually show two of them. So you're like an ace and a king, and you're like an ace and a king. And you see, you get the idea. You can really see them, an ace and a king, but you're just bluffing, like as if you're trying to show them, but they can't really see them, right? That's the whole idea. So you can really see them, an ace and a king, and just bluff like you're uh, trying to show them. But you can't show them because obviously they're, they're two kings, so don't flash those. So one more time from the beginning. Um, first of all, it's always a good idea to have the kings on top of the aces. That way you'll always remember the order of it when you do the tricks, so you're not trying to remember which way they go. So always start with the aces first when you call them back. You'll see what I mean, all right? So again, show the four or show the eight cards like this, sort of show them around and say, well, try to separate them by magic. Here's what I do. So do the move like this as you turn them down and then just throw them down. Now remember I said you have the kings on top of the aces, so you call the aces first. You always start with that packet on the right because they were in your right hand, right? So you do ace, king. Again, don't show these, you're just bluffing because they're both aces, all right? So ace, king, now you say, look, you can really see them and you can show them ace, king, ace, king. And for the last two, they're both kings, so you can't flash them, just, just bluff like you are, right? So you get the idea, ace, king just like that. So right now the situation is that you have 
had three aces, a king, an ace, and three kings. So what we need to do is essentially swap these out like this so we can do it in plain sight. Uh, one thing in Magic I always uh, like is if you can't hide it, highlight it. So here's what you do. It's also an extra magical moment, all right? So what you do is you spread through and you take the fourth card out. In this case, I have an ace. So what you're gonna do is say, look, we'll just take a random card out like this. Just drop the fourth card down on the table like this. Turn it face up and say, look, we'll just wave the packet over that ace and give it a tap. Now turn the packet face up and say, look, as soon as that happens, the aces has separated from the kings. Boom, boom, boom. There's the aces and then there's the kings. I mean, it's so easy, it's almost self-working, all right? So now you're gonna go in the second phase, and this time you can be extra fair about it because it doesn't really matter, so you're gonna do it uh, face up this time. See, so look, we have an ace and a king, an ace and a king, an ace, a king, an ace, and a king. And if they want to, you can even give them the king packet and they can help with the mixing procedure. You know, uh, anytime you can, it's always a good idea to get them involved with anything uh, procedure-wise. So now we move on to phase two, and this is the most difficult part of the routine when you're learning it, just in terms of remembering what, what to do in the procedure. Basically what you do is you make it appear as though you're just mixing the cards in a chaotic, uh, random order, but really it's a very um, strategic uh, placement of the cards. I'll demonstrate one more time and then I'll break it down in more detail, all right? So, Look, we know it's an ace, king, ace, king, but what if we made it more random? What if we did this? Here, start started mixing cards around and just a random order like this so that nobody knows uh, where they are. So what I've done here is actually placed two of the aces on the bottom, all the kings in the middle, and two aces on top. So let's go over how to do that. All right, so you have the cards set up in your ace, king, ace, king order after the face up mix. And so what you do, is you say, look, we'll try it again. Let's try to make it even more random. That way nobody knows where the cards are. So what you're gonna do is say, look, we know it's ace, king, ace, king. And all you do is spread over three cards at first. So that's one, two, three. You have three cards fanned in your hand like this. And you say, but what if they were more random? And then what you do here is you pull out the middle card and put it on top of that packet there and drop those two cards on the table. So in your head, you're saying three mix, all right? So one, two, three mix. But don't say that out loud. All you're saying is ace, king, ace, king. Let's just mix them around and then take the middle card, put it on the table. So now here what you do is you take this card and swap it with that card there. So you say, let's maybe this one here, let's do this. So they're so so they're random, right? And you're just trying to make it look and sound as if it's haphazard, right? So again, what you do, and you say to yourself, three mix mix all right so after that first one you say three mix and then just mix these and then drop one more time it's very it's a very uh, simple thing to remember so it's always three mix mix all right so three mix mix and now you're saying to yourself three mix mix again so you're just doing this spreading over three cards taking that middle card out like this now at this time you drop these cards over here on top first, and then these. I like to just mix these just for just for show, right? And then drop those on top. So let's go through that all the way through one more time just so you can really get it. And again, if you don't get it the first time, just rewind this video, and uh, you can see when, you, when it's in your hand and you're doing it, it's very easy to remember, right? So again, we do one, two, three, mix, right? Mix, so it's one, two, three, mix, mix. We do it again, one, two, three, mix put these down first mix so it's always three mix mix three mix mix and you're always left in the situation where you have two aces on the bottom all the kings in the middle two aces on top now we go into uh the paul curry swindle mix but here's the cool part you just demonstrate the swindle mix before you do it you say look how about you decide where the cards go and then we do here you say look I can either deal the cards straight down or I can mix them first and you just do that. You just swap the cards around and then drop them on the table. And then you, as you do that, you say, look, but it's all up to you. And then you just drop the rest of the packet on there. And now look, they're separated. So again, you're like this, two aces on the top, kings in the middle, two aces on the bottom. And this, you say, look, why don't you decide? I can either deal the cards straight down or I can mix them first. It's all up to you. And then at this point, they are already mixed, so now the swindle mix doesn't even matter because it changes nothing. Here's what I mean. The 
Paul Curry Swindle Mix does nothing but reverse the order of the packet, even though it looks very convincing and very fair. So let's say they did, let's say they did this. They said, deal, mix, mix, deal, mix. That did nothing but reverse the order of the packet, so they're still in order. So no matter what they say or what they do uh, with that procedure, there is no way that it can possibly get out of order. So uh, here's what you do next. Remember, uh, in the beginning, we spread it over four cards and put a card on the table. This time, you're going to allow them to pick one of the cards. And depending on which card they pick, you will either do the waving of the magic wand method, or you do that same one where it's on the table and you do that. Here's what I mean. So let's say they pick one of the aces, which are on top. You know, you'll know it because it's one of the top four cards. So if they pick an ace, maybe that one right there, you say, look, well, this time we'll use a magic wand and we'll do this and they're separated, right? Just like that. But if they pick a king, one of the bottom ones, uh, you'll know that you'll have to do that first method where you wave the packet over, give it a tap, and they are separated uh, like this. Alright guys, so as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something new. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.